These are all the enclosures for our reptile zoo. The thing is, is that none of them are in the spots that they need to be for opening day. And Big Kev over there is gonna hop on the forklift and help us organize them all. Kevin's doing stuff we didn't even start yet. What is he? Oh God, this is already a disaster. What are you doing, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> what, you, you're just picking them up? You know where they're going? Well, you see, we gotta move all the ones from the front to the back and all the ones from the back to the front. Every single one? Every single one. All right, well, let's see what mom's got going on. Make sure this game plan's legit. Mo Mom, what? what's in your hand? Chalk. Chalk? Yeah. For, that seems professional. Easter, yes. is that an Easter egg? Well, yeah, I needed chalk and the dollar store only had Easter egg chalk, which is fine because it works. So this is where we're putting the cages? Yes, I have my blueprint. I had to go what goes where, measure it out. That's what I'm marking. I'm Otherwise- to Kevin, right? Yeah, why is he moving so fast? He gets a little antsy. I swear to God, I'm going to lose it today. We're about to start moving all these all yeah, around. Yeah, we need to start moving out of our way so it's work. Okay, so I don't know where you want them. Today's already off to a crazy start. We're trying to move this stuff and they're already moving stuff back into here because they're running out of room to work on the floors. So hopefully we can figure something out. We're running out of space. No bueno. Whatever like you this want. was going to be next, but not now because of space of shuffling. These have, these have no bottles. Only polyurethane foam. And, so and your these... foot will go through your sand? So My foot will? He said they were built to go on the ground. What does that mean? Just like put on the ground. Up, yes. I'm almost wondering I just don't know. Is that what I should do? Is put them on the ground? Well, if you set them down, how are you gonna ever get back underneath? Is that a possible? No, this wasn't mine to figure out. It's okay, it's okay. We're here to help, we're here to help. You want to Oh Hello. God, I huh. seen the phone, I know. We're gonna move everything over to this side so we can get to this. 10 more minutes here and we'll be ready to move. You're doing great. And with the majority of these animals moving across the street to Legacy, you actually have to start planning what animals are gonna go in these enclosures. That honestly means we have to work with a lot of stuff. Okay, <laughs> so like we said, this stuff is obviously, I mean, Taiwanese beauty snakes are literally, they're absolutely gorgeous, but I mean, they are not the tamest of the snakes. I mean, he actually is doing great. Maybe he's reptarium ready. Oh, oh no, now I'm scared. So this is what I'm talking about. We want to be able to handle this snake at the rep. Of course, first we have to do a lot of working with it. I'm going to spend a lot of time picking out animals, making sure they are set and ready to go because we can't just move everything to legacy and then have a bunch of animals we can't handle. Whew. All right. That was a lot. I know she hit. I got a cart for you guys. I got, I got junior zookeeper stuff I got to do. Wow, they were making it seem a lot heavier than <laughs> They had three guys struggling with that. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> I have to be a little antsy today. Yeah, I gotta go, I got lunch! Alright, here we go. What you doing with your map? I'm trying just to trying them? to figure out which ones I want to put on this wall. Because also it depends on what's inside of them. If it's a snake or a lizard cage, you know. We can stack the center ones that we can here. Where the gator one's going to go to get him out of the way. I don't know where she wants these. She told me to get in 12. I can't even move it. It's rolling. You could just push it maybe for me. You want help? It's so heavy. Thanks. I don't know where they're going. She said the next thing that needs to happen is a servicer lift needs to, but I can't do that. So I think I'm gonna actually get out of here now. Gemma. Working on your singing? Gemma. Your vibrato. Gemma. I said Gemma. She's and getting she's so freaking dead. heavy. We're going back on food. Okay. Smush her face even. She's almost out. <laughs> Almost nailed it. She's not really standing, sitting still, is she? Talking about enclosures across the street, guys, and reptiles enclosures are finally getting done. Woo! Excited about that because Before these ever. snakes are very big and they need more space. And it's going to be fun to get people in the enclosures. You guys? Okay, can we put her down? We get the idea, right? Going to get an upgrade. She's going to be roomies with Juliet. Or not roomies, but like next door neighbors. Like, oh, she peed. 
Mike, no. I think it's just water. Did you really pee? No, it's just oh. water. We're excited for reptiles! All right, so, and then of course we have a lot of cool things like these leucistic Texas scaleless rat snakes. Not like this guy is super mean or aggressive or anything like that, but he hasn't been handled. So we have to make sure that we're spending time handling all these animals to make sure that they're ready to go. Say hi. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a little alien or something crazy like that? Maybe we should name him E.T. And even animals that used to be at the rep that have now moved over to BHB, now they get to go back to the rep. And this is little Jasper who actually grew up at the reptarium. He's about three years old, but when we used to pass him around, he was just like a little baby, like the size of his tail. And nah, he's a big boy. Foxiclet! The world's tiniest whittle skyjack. Yeah, what the hell? And just like that, this is where Juliet's enclosure is gonna go. Time to move one of the big daddies over here. This place is ginormous. We're doing it bigger. We're doing it better than anyone on this YouTube platform. Not the flex. I mean, it's kind of cool though. Any day now. Come on, Kev. These aren't marked. Or two or three. Personally, but I think this one here, good for the rhino iguanas. Yeah, lots of perching. Yeah, with the, the stuff iguanas. on the wall. Yeah, I think this would be a really cool rhino iguana one. Look at all these ledges and stuff. Yeah, I mean, what else would even go in yeah. here? Next one is Gemma. The other one is supposed to be toothless, but I don't have, so I'm just gonna put another six by eight. There. And then we could just switch and it out. And then I can switch it, or maybe we decide that's what lives there. I agree. And then the rhino iguanas. Yeah, what even is cinder? Like a cinder block? Oh, that sounded expensive. <laughs> Do we need? That's six right here. That's hilarious. You are preaching to the choir. Every time I turn around, oh, no, there's so another one. Like they're multiplying. Pocket like it's hot. Get it? It's like the song. This will be the first enclosure that we actually set in stone. Pretty exciting. Big Juliet. I think we're gonna put her in tomorrow, right? Might as well. <laughs> no. We still got a little while for that, but progress. And speaking of babies, we actually have a young beauty snake right here. Now this is the same kind of snake like the first one that we showed you. And basically what we're gonna try to do is avoid this one getting to that attitude. So when this animal grows up, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be gorgeous. I mean, they call it a beauty <laughs> snake after, I mean, look at it. This right here is our Amazon tree boa that came from Brass Man Reptiles. Thank you again. And honestly, this guy is amazing. If you guys know Lucky, this is the same kind of snake as Lucky. And you'll see what Melissa's doing right here. The same thing we do with Lucky. We basically are just trying to distract them keep them focused on something since these guys normally live in the trees they are a little bit more on the defensive side we're hoping with this guy we can break that stigma and then we can have one that you can actually handle say hi buddy so your outer edge of it will be right at the side all these bricks to support it. Cages were meant to put on the ground, but that's not really gonna work for us. <sighs> we'll figure it out. Down the street, <laughs> get the funniest looks from everyone you meet. Hold on, Kev, hold on, Kev. A little, you gotta go a little to your left. You're, you're almost clipping on this side. It's got a couple inches right there. Oh, it's close, dude. <laughs> How uh, pause for a second. Yep, straight. Keep going straight, you're shipping. That was close, huh, Kev? Sweating, straight sweating, son. Well, you're gonna have to come this way. Yeah. Trying to fine tune the details, figure everything out. We're kind of winging it. I'd say that's fine, you're centered on them. Are they centered on yours? Yeah. 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 I'm trying to support the center of it but the forks are in the center. So the forks are coming down on the support and then you can't pull the forks off. Pivot. <laughs> it's ever easy. <laughs> it's so difficult. And it's like four times over difficult. It's gonna make it that much better when it's all done. That's what makes life easy. And as they're setting this behind me, I know it's a little bit stressful, but Honestly, I know Brian would have been so psyched seeing these enclosures finally set where they're gonna go. Special day for everyone here. And Dan, I just wish you were here, Brian, because this is start of the Reptarium at the Legacy. How cool is that?
It's so good. I All right, know. it shouldn't have cast to the floor. No, it's okay. I'll put, I'll put a squeaky toy noise. Squeaky, <laughs> yeah. squeaky. Yeah. Just stay under there and just put it down on me. I was thinking, if you step back, I think we can get a whole nother enclosure on top of this one. I think you're channeling your inner Brian. <laughs> Shoot, what about David Blaine? Mr. Blaine, please. Okay. Watch yourself. <laughs> yep, always. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. So there we go. The first actual enclosure here at the Raptorium. Let's get the bag of keys out and get inside of it. That in stone. We shouldn't have to move this ever again. Knock on wood. See how it feels. Nah. Uh, Bad? I mean, it's pretty dippy right there, man. Yeah. What is that up there? The snake can't get behind there, can it? It looks like it could. Hey, Lori, it doesn't do good, no? No, that, that's the only right. spot where it does I mean, whatever. Like I said, chances are we're going to have to support, but this is the thing. We're going to just have to figure that one out. Put more stuff underneath it. Well, this yeah. is the whole thing, though. This is where theming comes in. We yeah. can plant foam, this out. Yeah, we can foam stuff, put stuff in here. This is just something that gives us a ledge to put cool in I never thought I'd see real humans inside cages. This is a great experience. <laughs> God, I mean, there's just so many beautiful things that are going to be coming over to the rep. I can't wait to show you guys. Now, this animal here in particular I'm actually super excited to start to work with because for some reason we don't have Pueblins necessarily in our education program but I think a good part that we need to start to teach is when red touches black a friend of Jack and red touches yellow kills a fella exactly so it's not like we can walk around with coral snakes but we can walk around with Pueblins and go ahead and teach the kids what those different patterns mean so down here in the Kaluber room of course now we've got a little bit older bigger things that are still going to be going to the rep and maybe a little bit more work just because they're bigger but I mean look at this beautiful snake this is a Japanese rat snake look at that that is gorgeous who wouldn't want to hold this even if you don't like snakes beautiful can we get one of these? I want it. <laughs> a lot of our monitors are moving across the street, as you guys know, including our boy Beetlejuice. And what's cool, what I can't wait to see is Beetlejuice really, really loves this enclosure. Yeah. And when we moved him here, he was very still apprehensive. He doesn't really like people that much. We've been working with Beetlejuice a lot. And so now you can like pet him and touch him and stuff. We great. even offer interactive things with Beetlejuice for guests. So like kids can come and feed Beetlejuice. Obviously we don't do rodents because he loves rodents way too much, but we can feed him like chicken and beef. Oh, and, and he's out of here. And really? now he's leaving. So he gets all the climbing space with a lot more branches and ropes. And we lost, we lost Beetlejuice. <laughs> Are you doing? Why are you here? Where did you come from? I thought you were doing push-ups. No, I was just getting low to the ground and then being. Where did ran. he come from? All right. Next up is Gemma's enclosure. She's actually going right next to Juliet. This says Jeffrey. It's actually Gemma. The struggle is so real. It'll only get easier, guys. It's gonna be so cool to see this one put up next to it. This is the first time we're seeing glass next to glass, not up against like, each other. properly. Yeah, not sandwiched, <laughs> yeah. displayed properly. It's gonna be so right. beautiful. Oh yeah, Kevy. What was that noise? I don't know, it didn't sound good. <laughs> don't you love that? <laughs> you want it over more or do you like that little gap? It just, it depends. As close as possible, it just depends on what we're looking at. And it depends on space. <laughs> Dad, are you in there? Dad! You're not my real dad. He looks really good. Dude, these are huge, bro. I know, I like the large one. I like how they're not the same size, actually. It's really starting to come to life. After a year and a half of doing this, it's, we're really doing it, Harry. <laughs> it's sturdy. <laughs> it's a little sturdy. Good enough for Does me. Does she weigh more than me? No, probably not. <laughs> Let me see your hands. <laughs> been a while I forgot yeah this is gonna be our next six months <laughs> guys I'm psyched dude look at it oh yes dude yes hey do you know what this is yes I do that is an Applegate golfer oh my god good job so I love these guys this is actually like since I started working here was really my first time interacting with this species of snake this thing is gorgeous and I mean what should we name this popcorn butter butter grilled cheese what are those things uh, called in dum, 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 oompa no, oompa loompa all right guys so I want you to meet oompa <laughs> oompa, <laughs> oompa. Don't bite her face. Now for some cute stuff. Look at this. Where bubbles, Melissa. Melissa, <laughs> bubbles. So this here is an albino hog nose. But I mean, look at those eyes. Hog noses are naturally already super cute with their little turned up nose. But Bubbles' eyes can't be beat. It's hard to see back here, huh? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, this one's more than that one, right? Yeah, way more. Like by a lot. This yeah. is more like for a snake. Yeah, that one. 
Kev, next up is this bad boy. And you can see how much more room we have already. Basically, we had to wait for the electricians and some other trades to finish painting and, and doing this wall. Now that they're kind of pressed up against the wall, even though they're not in their final spot, Kevin's grabbing this one gonna move it out the way we got two more big ones that we're gonna be placing on this wall today actually the next one up is waffles our black throat monitor yeah dude yeah it's a little more oh perfect is that crazy though that's huge that is that's you know that measure twice not once oh, well i'm learning that. <laughs> yeah yeah dad taught me otherwise yeah <laughs> dad taught me to measure once cut a couple times and then throw the saw I, another piece of wood. Yeah, because. and then buy another saw because you broke the saw. High quality lumber. Flory. Sweeping the flory. Yep. Are we touching the wall back there? Yeah, with foam. We can close it a little. And that's page number three. Big Waffles is going in there. Actually, he doesn't have as tall of an enclosure. So it'll be interesting to see if he climbs up on these rocks that he's kind of going to do. And as for Bowser, I'm, that's not Bowser. Of course, this is Junior. So he's another one that he's going to be actually here at the rep because Bowser is going to go to the Legacy. And even though there's no taming down an alligator snapper, we are going to still be working with this guy because right now he's the perfect size to go to schools, do birthday parties. And I mean, honestly, he's like handheld right now. So we do still want to make sure we're taking him out, interacting with him. And he's got to get used to that camera because look at that beautiful face. Yeah, hi, Junior. You laugh at my chalk measurements, but they're pretty damn good. Can't argue that. This is the last one for the day. Mom, which one's going in here snake-wise, animal-wise? This is rhino iguana. Oh, nice. This is the one that we looked at before. This is the rhino iguanas with the lights and stuff. Ooh, looks nice. Should get Ahmed to come back and do one of the like Medusa heads or something on that. Maybe that's a stretch. I need you to make an executive decision on that. That way yeah. we can get it close. Close. Oh yeah. Close. Executive decision. <laughs> what Ryan did with my acrylic one time. Oh. oh. I'm gonna be fired really quick. Yes! <laughs> what the heck is what we doing over there? He's throwing himself away? What you got, Lee? Is that a fried stingray? Fried Chile. It's Cali. a stingray. That's a stingray. Oh heck yeah. It's you... a manta ray. I can't What's remember. this one? Unknown? <laughs> that might be another manta. Oh my god, that was so dusty, I just coughed in my hand. It was literally like oh, oh, look at its head! How cute are you? I love it. <laughs> uh, I must, maybe I should put the camera down and help, huh? <laughs> Look at this little eye! I am so not surprised that Brian bought this. What I'm surprised about is that this wasn't going to go in her house. Evan, watch out, a shark's coming for you! Oh, wait, we're going to knock it down. Yeah. Oh, oh. Great whites and should we nope. throw it in the predator fish tank? <laughs> the other thing that we're very, very excited is obviously salt and pepper going across the street, yes. getting their giant, giant upgrade that they can live forever Which in. Which they need. But what that. I'm really excited about is yeah. the training that are, we are capable of doing across the street way more than we do now, including for Connie to learn how to remove, handle, hold, and return salt. Obviously, we're not going to be picking her up for much longer because she's already 50 pounds. Don't get bit by pepper. How Salt's going to try to jump How do you up. get pepper away? So here. Salt's going to do this. She's going to separate herself right now. And now would be a great time for you to come over and do this. I'm so serious because she's going to keep coming out. So you just grab there. But well, wait, Pepper's coming. All right, grab the tail. I guess it's a right, tail. We're going to sit her down. Salty kind of just, you know, kind of came out by herself. But Pepper is right there too. And yeah. I don't want Connie to lose a finger today. So this goes one or two ways. Okay, so it's under her chest. I'm under. I get Keep your thumb, thumb up on that side. There you go. And now support the tail. Connie! You were scared to hold the baby gators like a couple days ago. Yeah, worry. the baby gators salty. are... Shh, shh, shh. Ow. They're salty. Her nails feel great. Watch your fingers. <laughs> I mean, oh! Freaking instant bruise. And these are the signs that we talk about. Like, when we hold salt, she always gives a signal to know that we know she's done. So whether it's the tail flap, the picking up the back leg. So right now, I can tell she's a little tense, only because her tail's 100% against Connie's body. Belly is not deflating. Her foot, if I touch here, her foot goes so up. Heavy. She is heavy. But what I can do now is now Salty stays still, and now Salt knows that she's working. So she shouldn't move. Sick, though. Like, seriously, that's awesome. That was great, Connie. And see, but you see what I, where did you come from again? This is what I'm talking about. It's just holding. <laughs> I'm Batman. 
cannot wait to get them in their new enclosure. The only problem is we don't have it yet. But that's okay. You're gonna get there. Her nails just like instantaneously oh, burst it's a some blood. blood. Well, yeah, it's yeah. just a blood. Well, that one cut you. That's Good. part of the job, right? Walk away with scars yeah. everywhere. As long yeah. as you have your fingies. Oh my gosh, I'll take every little bit. This is nice. This makes it feel good too, because now, A, we've got stuff set. Now we can actually start cleaning these, figuring out fixtures. I like it. Yeah. It's going to be cool too, because we've got this wall here, but then where I'm standing, center row is going to be like 2.0, where you have ivy and those two-sided cages all the way down. So how crazy is that? Then we're going to have a mixture on that wall. Big cages, but also smaller cages too. So it's kind of like so much stuff. So much stuff. So cool. Yeah. So look at this giant wall we got. It's looking great so far. Good news, we're only waiting for one more, the largest 20 feet long gator tank. It will go from this all the way to the end of this wall right here. It's gonna be about eight foot out as well. That's one wall down. We're not really gonna have to touch these ever again. Then we're waiting for the middle row, practically a third set. That's pretty cool. When that next shipment comes with the salt and pepper, Bowser and Elvis and Ivy, massive ones, I don't know. We still gotta find out. Speaking about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.